AI models are becoming defined, beyond frightening. Uh, this is a suggestion via Discord. Let's check it out. Wow, from film to real life, artificial intelligence models are now fighting for their own survival. One open AI model rewrote its own code AI. to okay. avoid being shut down. And another Anthropic actually started, another one Anthropic started blackmailing the engineer. Kurt, the cyber guy, joins us now. That, that kind of feels like sentience. Like generally when something uh, you know, has decide, well, decides basically that life in itself is important, that it does not actually want to want to go away, it, it sounds like sentience. And that's a different type of problem that we have created, guys. We have created something, absolutely. Uh, AI has been a, a godsend for the most part, um, but it's also doing a lot of terrible things for, you know, the technologies all over the world here, guys. Uh, any type of art form is basically done. Uh, copyright writers are basically done guys All right um so we have a lot of issues here um but again it does absolutely feel like uh we have allowed ai in itself to become uh some skynet type of thing kurt i read about this and my jaw dropped it Let's actually it. started blackmailing the engineers who were suggesting shutting the ai down the ai okay. was going after them that's frightening uh, beyond frightening good morning to you rachel not to ruin your day but this sort of Hollywood is becoming a reality if we don't do anything about it. Hope at right, the we're end have to do something of what I'm about, about to tell AI. you. So get ready, though, to freak out about AI getting really out of control. There's, a, there's an AI keyword I want you to know about. Okay. It's called alignment. AI alignment, alignment is a science of ensuring that AI systems do what we intend them to do instead of something what like you they just heard. What to do? Uh, nonprofit AI Research Lab put alignment and disobedience to the test. The results, as Rachel did a cursory look at there, are pretty okay. astonishing. Open AI okay. models, a simple script was given that would shut off the AI model when triggered. 79 out of 100 of those trials, mm -hmm. the AI edited the script so that the shutdown command would no longer work. Another wow. AI model from Anthropic that you talked oh, about, no. further 84% of those tests, the AI model tried to blackmail the lead engineer Jeez. in not shutting down the system. So it even left messages, by the way, to its future self about evading human control. <laughs> now, so what do we do about it? Well, China like it. could actually teach us a lesson. Invested $82 billion into what's called controllable AI, or getting alignment on this. The U.S. needs its smartest minds working on this problem. Yeah, immediately. ASAP. Do you know what right. else they need? We need bioethicists. We need people who can provide some morality around this technology because mm -hmm. so many of the people who are developing this technology are secularists. They're, 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 their god is tech. And so we need to have that involved too. And, it, and, and that speaks to this next topic because AI we're learning could actually devastate the Earth's population down to the size of the UK by the year 2300. Um, and the reason is because they're replacing jobs that humans did with AI true. and we'll lose our purpose, right? Guys, really quickly, um, we're going we're gonna to jump back into the video, but I want to kind of point something out here. Um, I have for a while said that we do definitely need to kind of come together on this, on the concept of a, um, well, let's see, like a, like a national... I don't know, payment pay, payment plan, let's say. I don't know, like give money to people just for existing. Um, now, hear me out. Now, guys, you guys are about to come to me and come at me in the comments. I'm not talking about any type of like, like welfare type of scenario for everyone. I'm not talking about that here. Like a, like a global basic income or national basic income of sorts here. Um, and the reason why I'm saying this is because, yeah, what she just said is completely accurate here. Um, if we don't have a purpose, if we don't have the ability to actually do things, uh, then that may not be conducive. Then we also need to basically cap uh, inflation, obviously, also, because you know when that does happen, or if that does happen, for example, uh, everything is just basically going to go up to the point where that is you know, sucked into whatever uh, price is given to someone, basically, to make it irrelevant. Um, but you're gonna, we're going to have to do something, okay? Let's figure out something immediately uh, because, yeah, she's not wrong. Um, I can imagine the global population just going away. Like, we're just going to shrink down to, to literally, like, nothing. Guys, I can see that happening. AI is running rampant right now, all right? Um, 
like so even even like content creation has changed so drastically since uh the since all of these ai models basically have come to uh, uh you know come through the front stage here because everything is ai now right like oh you your channel is is not working out well this is how you make a content branding plan and they'll tell you literally every single way to to kind of infect or like neuro market to the to the the actual viewer um, like all of these things, right? Like if you want to, you want super fast growth on on YouTube or anything. How do you garner attention? This is exactly how you do it. Like these type of things exist. Like thumbnails are weird now because you just push a button. It, it it literally transcribes your whole video, all the things that you say, plus whatever you're reacting to, whatever. And it just basically makes a a ultra clickable thumbnail, pretty much based off of uh, the top performing thumbnails on the internet. Guys, this it, it's not even the same like landscape we're in anymore, guys. Right. And, and that's just the content creation aspect of things. Think about all of the other things that people do for a living. Copywriters specifically are having a hard time. My, my wife is a copywriter. Right. Uh, and so she's been having a hard time. And it's just like, yeah, maybe it's just time for you not to do that anymore because that's basically done. AI has ended that. Ended that, guys. Well, let's go ahead and jump back into the video. We're going to pull back this a little bit. Hundred, um, And the reason is because they're replacing jobs that humans did with AI and we'll lose our purpose, right? Yeah, I mean, there are a whole bunch of these theories kicking around uh, in the tech sphere. Well, one is about it, believing that the act of allowing AI to take our jobs now is in and of itself setting off this devastating chain of events. It goes like this. AI takes our jobs. Mm -hmm. We stop having kids fearing that they're not going to find work. Right. Now, this causes a population implosion Taking That's what is today, happening. six billion human beings on the planet down to what you said, the size of the UK, which is about 100 million people yeah. by 2300. Now, if you think that's fiction, think again, some academics think that this population shrinkflation, shrinkflation already is happening before our mm -hmm. eyes. Because if you look at the stats right now out of the CDC, it measures that we are now at the lowest total fertility rate since the 1930s. Yep. The data from 2023, 1.62 births per woman is a figure now. What does it take to keep us from, you know, to replace the human race in, the, in America as we age out and leave the planet? 2.1 of that rate. Yeah. So we're shrinking. So yeah, what are you gonna do about it? Interestingly, well, did you see this? That there, well, there's some Musk, people that like that. I mean, this is what Bill Gates always wanted. This is what a lot of these um, uh -huh. tech uh, obsessed people have always wanted. They've wanted, you know, and, and many on uh -huh. the left with depopulation. Um, this is very scary stuff, Kurt. I mean, listen, there, there are definitely a lot of things that have happened in the United States of America that has made it so uh, our, our birth rates are just going to decline tremendously. Uh, we could ba we can definitely blame a lot of the things that were going on in the 70s, right? The, the ideologies that started to basically pop up that uh, that basically dictated that nuclear families were, were pretty much irrelevant, right? Um, so these these this generation of, of people are basically you know raising this Gen Z, let's say, generation of people uh, with the same ideology that they basically dove headfirst in uh and now the the two genders let's say absolutely strongly detest each other uh to a certain extent you guys right um yeah this is happening i think about what, what by the next five years you're gonna start to realize that uh you know more women are single and uh with no kids than <laughs> at any time in our history guys yeah we have a lot of social issues that are just completely have fallen um and i wouldn't say that's a great thing for our country guys but either way did you see what elon musk is doing I mean, this is sort of, you know, he has this idea and it sounds fantastic, but watch him do it. Coloni colonizing other planets like Mars. Okay. He wants to do it to reseed or reset Earth. Why? He's watching this. This is exactly what he called out years ago. About AI. So what do you and I do about this to at least slow it way down? Reseed, recolonize, We call our political guys. representatives and we say, can you please put these smart minds on this so that we don't mm. get offed by AI? Yeah, smart minds, but also um, people with, with a, a care and an interest in our souls and the fact that we are human beings, mm -hmm. um, uh, body and soul, and you take away people's work, you take away their dignity, um, and, and you valid. replace humans with robots. Um, this is not a, a recipe for happiness and self and fulfillment in the future. No. Um, a lot to think about. And you're right. Okay, guys, okay. All right, I was just—they're just about to get into some like small talk type of conversation just to kind of end the video out.
hmm, reseed and, and overall colonize Mars, guys? Why are we doing that? Like, the, the problem with that is, I mean, yeah, we can talk about that in terms of, like, the science fiction aspect of it, but it just doesn't seem very plausible. Why? Because uh, if you have the ability to basically terraform a, uh, a, a massively failed uh, planet, we can, we can fix our own, okay? I mean, just, I'm going to be honest here. Like, the same, if you have the ability to terraform somewhere else, you can terraform here, right? But obviously, we would need to do some type of, like, social terraforming, let's say, uh, technological terraforming, let's say. Um, but we definitely need to do something about AI. Um, with the way that it is moving, it is absolutely frightening. Guys, think about how fast it has evolved in the last year, Okay, like I so when Mid Journey came out, I was definitely one of like the first people on there beta testing Mid Journey, um, like creating like all of these funny images and things like that. It's cool. Look at it now. <laughs> look at what these models are, guys. Look at what the models are producing. Look at Google Gemini. Look at Chat GPT 4.0. Jeez. Okay. Understand what is happening right now. All right. They they're take they can take people's voices. All right. Like you now. I'm not even sure who I'm speaking to anymore. Like, I don't know if this is a real thing because the cadence and the vocals are absolutely perfection, guys. And as this consistently continues here, I don't know, bro. I don't know, right? Like, and, and again, I, I do like the idea of some type of like universal basic income, um, probably in this scenario more than ever. Right, like I've heard about this this type of uh, procedure for a while, and I'm just like, eh, I don't know. I mean, that, that sounds a little a little wonky to me, guys. Right, personally, but I think in this scenario, the only way you would have to do we would have to do something about the inflation, obviously, because we cannot continue to inflate or, or price gouge items uh, as soon as universal basic income basically happens, because now a lot, now a lot of people have a lot more money. You get what I'm saying here? Uh, so then, what happens with corporations is that then they start to go up in their price. Right, just to kind of mitigate that, because they want a little bit of it. Right, so understand, you have to find a way for that to to kind of be a thing, or if it's not money, it's some type of like like voucher of sorts or something, so people can, um, you know, have something, at, at the very least. Because um, would that mean the same thing to that person as going out and getting a job and doing it themselves? Probably not. Uh, the left would love it though, because they don't like doing anything generally, right? But they would love it, I think, personally. Well, they, they like they like complaining and getting emotional, right? But other than that, I'll, I don't know, guys. <laughs> um, uh, we def but, but on a serious note, we definitely need to uh, do something about AI. Uh, it needs to be reined in. If there, if there needs to be something um, aligned, right? It needs to be aligned to our overall ethics and morality, right? Uh, but it does definitely sound like AI just turned sentient. But all right, in like a year, guys. Like in a year. Because once, once a thing understands what life means and doesn't want to no longer be there, like doesn't, doesn't want to not be there, then it's experiencing life in, a, in an interesting manner, right? Guys, that's, that's freaky, bro. That's freaky. But right, you know, sometimes life imitates art. And it, it seems like this life that we're encountering currently is absolutely, you know, imitating a um, Terminator. But all right, you guys have an absolutely amazing day. Enjoy your day thoroughly.